Hey, what's up, guys? It's the mad scientist up in here. <laughs> here, looking crazy as hell. Um, I want to talk about elbow tendonitis, or golfer's elbow. Okay, pain on the inside of the elbow. Uh, I think it's misdiagnosed a lot. Okay, and I know a lot of people will just claim they have golfer's elbow without an official diagnosis from a doctor. Don't do that to yourself. Listen, if you have pain, especially if you're a climber like me, here's what it really is. All right, let me flip the camera around. So the pain's right there, inside the elbow, right? Now, I'm skinny enough to show this. See that? That's called the pronator teres. Okay, that muscle is going to get super taxed from climbing hard, especially climbing hard and frequently like I've been doing. And honestly, the best thing to heal that and prevent and alleviate pain in that area is you just get hella, hella pump. Okay, now I use, you know, like I said in the past, I've shown my videos, the rice box, you know, just a literal box full of dry rice. Do all kinds of like, you know, hand and wrist movements in there. And that would just pump up everything. Everything in the forearm, get the elbows nice and pumpy, you know. And uh, I'll feel great after that, okay. If you don't have that, maybe you just try, you know, if you're a climber, climb something easy. Or do like a long traverse or something if you can, or do some, uh, you know, rope climbing if you have that in your gym. Do like a long, pumpy, relatively easy route. Again, just to kind of put blood into the area, pump it up, make it feel better, okay? Stretch it out. Now, if all of that doesn't work, Go ahead and try to massage it. Okay, you can use your thumb, you know, get your thumb in there, kind of press it out. If you have any kind of massage gun tool, like a Theragun, that'll work great to massage it out. Um, do not, in my opinion, use ice. It's not going to help. Okay, because again, we want to promote healing by promoting circulation of blood into that area. Okay, ice is going to do the opposite of that. Now, if you do ice followed by heat, that can be good, okay? Because you're going from something where you're very cold to very hot. That'll cause a nice inflammatory effect. It'll send all kinds of blood and nutrients into that area. A little rush in there, okay? That's fine. But I don't think it's necessary. I think heat and just getting a mad pump in that area is the best thing to do. I got a little pain in my left elbow right now. Let me show you that. Okay, not, as you can see, not quite as huge in that left arm. So that printed tear is getting taxed. Okay, it's getting a little harsh in that area because it's not as big. Okay, not as much hypertrophy of the printed tear is on that side as compared to my right side, which is probably like 60% bigger. <laughs> so again, gonna do that pump work, build some endurance, some hypertrophy in that little muscle, try to bulk that shit up so it's not in pain in the future. Anyway guys, that's my little advice today, coming at you from the office, the home office, looking like a damn mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. Peace.